Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Already been busy uh past couple weeks here. Lots of stuff been coming in ever since that last little bit of snow melted. Um had a kid come in yesterday, you uh, know. Uh, probably eighteen to twenty, though he barely looked fourteen. But tiny little kid. But uh he brought this in and said it was his buddies and they're doing a little power washing together that on like some driveways around the neighborhood or something trying to get a little power washing business going and they're having trouble starting it said that the rope kept pulling harder and harder and I'm trying to ask him different questions and stuff like well was water on was it off and he's like yeah it was on pretty sure it was on or something and then it's like yeah my my buddy was pulling the trigger on the wand too so I don't know some of these you uh, the guy had the water on to start them because they have, like, a water pressure switch so you don't, like, burn up the pump. And some you got to start with water off. Uh, you just got to read your <coughs> instruction manual for your particular power washer. But I checked the oil. The oil had, like, a uh, bit too much in it. Probably, like, way too much. Um, so, didn't know if... Uh, they're trying to start with the water on and they need to have the water off and they're just building up pressure in the pump or whatever and and that was the issue or if they had too much oil and it was getting to the combustion chamber and blocking the piston from moving kind of hydro locking it or what well, just pull the spark plug out and it was dry so uh, too much oil may not be the issue it kind of sound like they should try starting with water off and they're probably just building the pressure of the pump, but uh, them being like a couple 18, 20 year olds, something like that, probably. Hey, very well, let's uh, bust out the tools and take it apart and try and figure out what's wrong and stuff. And so I just bring it here in the first place and asking the expert about it. So they went ahead and took it apart, took the whole top off, and of course, uh, and they had it kind of put back together, but stuff just hand tightened. But I guess they took the, they said they took the bolt out, the flywheel, but never took the flywheel off because then they said everything was kind of turned okay. I mean, it spun freely with the spark plug out. But when they, they said when they went to put it back on, uh, it broke, snapped off. Yeah, and they're wondering if I could, like, uh, drill it out and put a new bolt in it. Well, problem is, the wrench could say, yeah, probably. Could take half an hour, could take an hour. But then after looking a little bit closer into it, in the little uh, bag of spare parts that they had, and looking up the parts diagram and video on YouTube on it, just to kind of double-check everything, it's not a bolt. Uh, they said that they uh, put the nut back on with an impact wrench, and they probably had it set on high. And uh, you're only supposed to torque that nut down to 55 foot-pounds with a torque wrench. And they probably put, like, three or 400 foot-pounds on it or something like that. Probably a big air gun or something. And they snapped the crankshaft off yes that's the end of the crankshaft that goes all the way down through the engine and out the other side so it's not just a matter of drilling a bolt it's a matter of taking the engine part and replacing the crankshaft either that or be just as cheap to go buy a new uh, 300 350 dollar power washer so parents uh that's why you don't let children play with tools. Well, at least they'll have a spare holes and spare wand and some extra tips or where he took those off and took those with them for their new power washer. But if they get one just like this, they could take the pump off of it and save the pump in case they need a new pump someday.
but yeah otherwise uh, this is pretty much just parts unless they want to play with tools some more and take the oil engine and parts and, and probably put a new $100 crankshaft Uh, or however much crankshaft might cost. Might not be quite that much, but buying parts separately, you end up spending like two or three times as much as getting, just getting the whole damn machine fully assembled. Oh. Looks like it's going to be a long damn year. Well, thanks for watching. Ben Joel Smith, sign out.